Hi, my name is John Schiff, and I'm a security engineer for the National Center for Supercomputing Applications at the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign. Today I'm going to show you how to set up a standard bro cluster. Since the configuration is standard, I'm not going to discuss load balancing traffic, security conscious permissions, or other tuning options. Our goal is to get you set up as quickly as possible so you can begin to familiarize yourself with tasks and management of a bro cluster. I'll be using three virtual machines, each running Ubuntu, on the same network segment. For the purpose of this demonstration, we are using a tool called Vagrant, which allows us to manage the VMs more easily. Before we continue, let's run through the requirements. One machine will act as the manager and proxy. The proxy keeps state and shares information between the bro workers, which is why it is commonly installed on the manager. The remaining two machines will be our worker nodes, one worker for each machine. These machines will be collecting and analyzing the network traffic. Let's get started. Now that we have our three VMs ready to go, let's install Bro on the manager. First, let's become the root user. Second, we'll install the dependencies. And lastly, we'll install the latest version of Bro. The Bro Manager manages the workers by performing tasks like starting, stopping, and monitoring the workers, pushing out new configurations, and printing statistics. The Manager performs these tasks by connecting to the workers using a passwordless SSH public key. Let's generate that SSH key now. Next, we'll create our .ssh directories and copy the public key to the worker machines. To check that it worked correctly, we'll connect to one of the worker nodes. It did not request a password, which means the key was copied correctly. The next step in setting up our cluster is to edit the manager's configuration files so that it knows which machines are its workers. The default install prefix for bro is user local bro, and the configuration file is located in the Etsy directory. Now let's modify the default cluster configuration file node.cfg from its standalone configuration to a new cluster configuration. Back on the manager side, I'm going to launch the Bro Control tool in interactive shell mode. Then I'll issue the install command, which will install Bro as well as copy our configuration files to the Bro workers. The install command completed successfully. We'll move on to checking our work. Let's make sure the configuration doesn't contain any errors using the check command. Everything is okay, which means we can start the cluster. If you don't want to use Bro Control's interactive mode, you can enter the command directly in the terminal. Let's check the status of all the Bro processes.
Everything looks good here. If you see crash under the status column, you can run the bro control dyad command, which will help you troubleshoot why the crash is occurring. Let's generate a log file as a follow-up sanity check. Thanks for watching our presentation on setting up a standard Bro cluster. To learn more about using Bro, you can check out the website at bro.org, follow them on Twitter, at bro underscore IDS, or check out more talks and presentations on their YouTube channel at youtube.com forward slash user forward slash bro platform.